what's up guys welcome back to the channel today's video i'm looking at things you should consider when you want to venture beauty photography in general right and i have jotted four points down i'm not going to go i'm not going to exceed those points but these are the most important ones i think personally that you should consider when you want to venture into the set general photography um today's set i have someone assisting me today so if you're if you've been following me on my instagram or even on my youtube i do put up trivia questions where when you answer i'll invite you to my set right i had an episode one but i lost those footages so i'm just using this as episode one right i don't know he's sitting there um you you guys will see him in the video when i start shooting right so let me just jump straight into what you should consider when you're starting beauty you should always look at the kind of model you're selecting for the shoot right many people mistaking the kind of models they use for beauty shoots and when it comes to beauty i really take a long time in selecting the kind of model i need for my shoot i always look out for how good their skin is and how good another photographer has photographed them and how good they are good with um, posing right and also instructions and maybe someone who considers time a lot i believe everybody um <laughs> i believe everybody appreciates time but well we're in ghana but well like the very the very important thing you should consider is how good the skin of the model is usually you see people shoot models with a lot of blemishes on their skin or well, you can't have a hundred percent perfect skin or maybe there is i haven't seen that yet but so far the people have shot one concerning beauty they are almost there when it comes to skincare and i think you should also consider that when you are planning for any beauty shoot at all the second on the list which is very important i think that should have been the first one you need a very good makeup artist emphasis on very good makeup artist bridal makeup is not beauty makeup so don't mistake in a bridal makeup artist for a beauty makeup artist because they do have different ways of making um, people up I, I have gotten the opportunity to work with a lot of good makeup artists i have one here today um, i know she's pissed but you know we are planning on paying for a trip to mauritius so you guys come and buy my presets buy anything i sell so that we can use to sponsor her trip so that whenever we call her the next time she'll be smiling all right so back to a very good makeup artist you should look at someone who is very good with skin makeup understands the tones of um, the model you're going to work on understand how they're going to highlight and contour whatever it is they need to do just so that your image comes out very great you should consider these things when you're going for a makeup artist you should scout like you should be picky when it comes to makeup artists and also the makeup artists are also picky when it comes to the photographers so you know it's a 50 50 thing so be good at what you do practice more then venture into the beauty then the the remaining two points i'll talk about them when i actually start shooting so just before i leave don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new here thank you so much for coming to watch my video on my youtube channel the name is kojo joey make sure you subscribe before you leave turn on the bell notification icon leave a thumbs up i'm sure this video will be interesting and will catch your attention and you'll learn a lot leave down in the comment section box below if you have any questions at all and i'll get back to you on that so I did mention I was going to talk about the other two things and what I have in mind for the third thing is to 
know the kind of setup you're shooting, right? You should you shouldn't compromise on the gear you're using. Currently, I'm using the Canon 5D Mark IV, the Canon 100 Macro um, f2.8 lens. I'm tethering to my laptop. I'm using a Capture 120. This is to just direct the mode on what you should do. My lighting system, I'm using um, the 90cm deep bow parabolic from Photobox. I'll leave a handle down in the description box. I'll leave a link to their website, their handle down in the description box. You can check them out. I forgot, I'm going to leave everyone's handle down in the description box. The model, the makeup artist, the cinematographer, my assistant for today. And yeah, so talking about lights, I'm using the AD600BM to power this 90 centimeter box and I'm using the SK400 to power my 45 centimeter beauty dish. I'm using two lights, if in case you're wondering. I'm using this poly board, which doesn't cost much, I think, 50 CDs to bounce back light onto my subject. If you've seen the backdrop, there are, there are four cardboards joined together to create that huge backdrop over there. One costs, I think, 3 CD 80 pesos at acrylic. So nothing on this set is expensive, well, except the lens and the AD600, but you can also use any um, any other lighting system, provided it's going to you know illuminate your subject and get whatever you want to get from the shoot. I won't tell you to use an 85 for a beauty shoot, neither will I tell you to use a 50, or I won't say use what you have to shoot, because with the 100, you're looking at a very good compression. When it comes to beauty shoots, you're looking at a very good compression um, from the image, not a distorted image, because the model's face has to look the way she's looking with when you look at her with your eyes. So 100 is fine, 70 to 200 is fine, at 200 or um, 135 is also fine. Any zoom lens is fine, but with this macro, I can go in as close as possible to even get tight shots like these, right? Then I can step back and take another shot like this and i have tight shots and close-up shots with every detail i am looking for in the said image right the last thing before i leave is you should know how you edit your beauty because you can't compromise either you send it off to somebody who retouches like me i charge you big time or you learn how to retouch yourself like take time practice before you venture into beauty photography. Don't just get into it because you think it's something easy or you want to also do beauty photography. It takes time and practice. And from this set, if you don't practice, trust me, you won't get good at it at all. When you stop and you come back, practice before you either take a paid job or maybe you want to pull out like a big production. Keep on practicing eh, and you get, you get good at it. So yeah, that should be it. I'm sure someone will ask me what settings I shot with. I'm shooting at ISO 100, shutter speed 1 over 160, f6.3, Canon 100, like I said, 100mm um, 5D Mark IV. The power for the AD600 is a 1 over 8, that of the beauty dish, I mean the SK400, is a 1 over 16 plus 0.7. Right, these lights are not doing anything to the frame right now because you know, I usually check if you've been with me on my YouTube channel. Alright, so that should be the end of today's video. If you're interested in venturing into beauty photography, you should consider taking these um, tips I mentioned to you guys very serious. Practice. The idea is to practice, learn, practice, learn. And yeah, that should be it. So thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe as usual like right now if you're new thank you for coming to the channel you know i teach a lot of things here like beauty um gears you should acquire when you're starting photography editing color grading any other thing you want is on the channel if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back support the channel by sharing these videos and yeah that should be it thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video peace